What is up YouTube? It's your boy Gabe and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Nike acronym Presto in the dynamic yellow colorway. But before we proceed, help your boy out and watch this video until the end. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss my next video. Now, let's get on with the sneaker review. This sneaker is one of many collaborations between Nike and Acronym. And for those of you who haven't heard about Acronym yet, they are a design company that focuses on techwear style clothing. And I believe that you have already seen one of their collections online because they have been circulating in the internet for quite some time now. For those of you who want to learn more about Acronym, I will put links in the description box below for you guys to check out. This released in September of 2018 with a price tag of $200 that is roughly around 10,000 Philippine pesos. This was uh, originally planned to be one of 2018's hype sneakers but after that release, popularity on this sneaker quickly dipped and you can probably get this pair for only $140 to $155. Now I will share with you what I think about this sneaker basing it off of three categories comfort styling and materials and for those of you who are planning to buy this pair online i hope that this sneaker review would help you make that decision so let's start off with the first category which is comfortability so this sneaker is one of those sneakers that is surprisingly comfortable i am really happy with how comfortable this sneaker is so the toe area or the upper area really hugs your feet but it doesn't give that suffocating feeling and the cushion is on point. I really feel that I can wear this for a whole day without my feet aching. So in terms of comfortability, I give this sneaker a thumbs up. Now let's move on to the second category, which is styling. So this sneaker is very versatile. I've been wearing this pair for over a year now. And um, for those of you who have been following me on Instagram, I know that you have seen me post a couple of pictures of me wearing this pair. So this sneaker is very versatile and you can probably wear this with majority of your streetwear outfits. My verdict for the sneaker in that category is I give it another thumbs up. Now let's move on to the third category which is the material. So this is where it gets interesting and very tricky because like what I said before, I like the materials in terms of comfortability but it's really hard to maintain and I really don't like dirty shoes. Those are the things that you have to consider before you buy this sneaker. So the pattern on the toe box, it kind of gets scuffed easily. You can peel off the pattern and the toe area or the uppers where the white is, it gets really dirty real fast. So you have to think of where you're going to wear the sneaker and you have to consider those factors before you buy this one. Now, for that category, I give this sneaker a thumbs down. All right, so that is the end of my review. So for the verdict, I give this sneaker a 7 out of 10. This sneaker is very unique and it would definitely break some necks when you're wearing it outside. But at the same time, you have to make sure that you plan where you're going to wear this. You don't want to get caught in the rain or anywhere with mud wearing this sneaker because it would definitely get dirty real fast. So those are the factors that you have to consider before buying this pair. So this is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed. But before we end, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss my next video. Also, leave me a comment below on what you think about the Nike acronym Presto and if you're planning to get one yourself. This is your boy Gabe, signing out. Peace! Yeah.